Hey everybody, welcome back to Row Country. I'm so excited that you guys are here today to watch another one of my videos. I wanted to jump on real quick and sort of explain what is going on here in Row Country and uh, apologize for the delay of the release of this upcoming video that is coming up next. I started working on some decor DIYs for my spring coffee bar before everything happened. And then when everything happened, I didn't really feel inspired and I didn't really feel like I wanted to decorate. I was having some creativity blocks. I mean, it was a whole thing. So I took some time, I got away from the camera, I got away from the DIYs and all of the things that I had done for my coffee bar, I sort of put inside of a bin and I said to myself, it's okay if it doesn't happen, but Lately, I've been feeling a little more inspired, and so this is going to happen. And I'm excited about it because I've worked very hard with my family to put together the whole coffee bar space. I really made an, an effort to really sort of decorate it for each, um, not holiday, but season is more what I go for. And so I wanted to do a spring coffee bar for my family, and I kind of felt bad that it didn't happen. So that is going to happen. I wanted to explain that things have changed a little bit with me since uh, I went ahead and did all of those decor items and actually videotaping myself putting the coffee bar together. So the actual video itself was filmed, but I never really got back to editing the video and I've played around a little bit with some of the decor. So that said, um, I also haven't been able to get out because our estate is just now starting to reopen. So you're gonna notice that my haircut that I usually have that everybody comments on and I really appreciate the love and support that I get about my hair. Um, it's changed a little, guys. I haven't had it cut, I haven't had it colored. I've, not, I've just sort of let it grow out. I love it. I think I'm going to let it stay like this for a little while. So let me know in the comments below, do you like my shorter hair or what do you think about the longer hair? It's okay. I can take it guys. I, I promise. So before I go, I just want to say hey to my returning subscribers. You guys really, you know, you make my day. I love you guys so, so much. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for the support that you all give my channel. Um, you know, when you like a video or you dislike a video or you share the video, it really does help the channel to grow. Speaking of growing channels, our channel has grown quite a bit. There have been just an influx of new subscribers and I just want to welcome you all if you're new. Thank you guys so, so much. I hope that you find some inspiration on the channel and you'll stick around for a little while. Um, maybe share this video or any video that I've put out with your friends or family, anybody that would like maybe what I'm working on and maybe might be interested to know what's going on in Row Country. If you like today's video, everybody, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like this kind of content so that I know to continue to bring it to you on a usual basis. <laughs> so I'll make a part of the lineup. Okay, so without the further ado, again, guys, um, I'm going to be putting together my coffee bar. It's not really a decorate with me. It's more of a, this is what I did. And this is where I used it in my coffee bar for spring. And I really, really hope that you will join me in upcoming videos to see what's going on around here until next time. Thanks again, everybody. So, so much. Bye. Okay, everybody. Welcome to my spring coffee bar tour for 2020. I'm so glad to finally be bringing this to you. So as I mentioned, everything that I ended up doing as DIYs on the channel ended up in this bin. This is a Kirkland's dupe that is linked in the description box. In fact, every one of these that is a DIY on my channel has been linked in the description box below and I will add it to my spring playlist so that you can go back and take a look. We're gonna be using some command strips just to hang up a couple things. I'm using those doilies that you can pick up at the Dollar Tree. You get like 32 or 35 in a pack for a dollar. That's amazing. We made this heart wreath as well. And then there are some little things that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, like this really cute sign. And I mean, it was like $2.99, but it was 40 or 50% off and that cute little bunny. You know, Easter's over, guys, but that bunny just screams 
um, you know, spring to me. And then, of course, these placemats, these were $4.99 on sale, 40% off in the spring collection at Hobby Lobby. You could probably pick those up now on clearance, but they are absolutely adorable. I love that. And of course, this DIY can also be found on the channel and linked below. And so guys, this is an overview of the coffee bar and its regular state when it's not decorated. I have this um, shelf there in the center that is really more for decor and then the regular plane of this is really functional this time the new thing for our coffee bar is our upper cabinets now have handles um, we did add that light up there in the center and that was put in i think the last video so you can go back and take a look at that last coffee bar um tour but we added that so every time we do this we really try to add something new the corbels were a gar um, garbage find and so um, we put this together all by, by ourselves and i love how it turned out but here are these placemats from hobby lobby in the buffalo check in the purple shades and this is my shades of purple coffee bar for spring 2020 and i absolutely love it but i also use from ikea those chopping boards i have two of them and i use them sort of as risers on top of the wood plank that we have on top of our coffee bar again this was a coffee bar that we put together just with some scrap wood and also some cabinets that we picked up along the way we sort of mismatched everything painted everything to make it look cohesive and i really adore how it turned out but i use those ikea chopping boards as little risers up above um you know just above the playing field i guess on that surface and so i'm covering those with those placemats from Hobby Lobby and I'll just go ahead and put the coffee pot what's well, a Keurig one serving type of deal and I love it it's the Keurig mini I'll have that linked in the description box below too if you're interested in that so the next thing we're going to do is hang up this DIY that we did on the channel this is a Kirkland's redo and my cup runneth over is a quote from the Bible, but it's also a pretty good play on words for a coffee bar, I thought. But I picked up this sign at, at Kirkland's. It was $2.60 on clearance, and we redid it on the channel. I'm just going to use the command strips to go ahead and hang that up in the coffee bar area. Um, but I'll, again, have that linked in the description box below. But that is one of my Cricut um, little DIYs. I'm not a professional Cricut person, but Hey, <laughs> I think it turned out okay. So now I'm bringing in um, a little hack for you. If you run out of command strip pieces for the pieces that you originally buy, like for instance, that little plastic um, hook that I'm going to use to hang up my little wreath. What you can do is use the regular Velcro command strips. I'm just gonna cut it in half and I've attached it to the back like that. So that fit perfect. And the rest of that piece that I cut off, I'm now going to Velcro it together and use the other side of that to hang that hook on the wall so that I can hang up my wreath. So if you run out of your extra strips that you get when you originally buy those, don't worry, you can use the Velcro and it works just fine as well. So this is a wreath that we did on the channel, another DIY um, out of the lavender from Walmart that guys that looks so realistic and i love how this little heart wreath turns out because it just reminds me of something that i would pick up maybe at a farmer's market and i did just go ahead and hang that right underneath that light that we have in between the cabinetry there and the next thing we're going to do is bring in my spring gnome and yes guess what guys totally in the description box below i love how farmhouse she is she's made of burlap and she's holding a bucket that has some spring florals in it and we're just going to put her right up on that display shelf as well she is one of my favorite gnomes that i've ever made and i just think she's gonna you know do my coffee bar justice this spring and so another kirkland's dupe we did guys this was the easiest thing in the world a little bit of chalk paint some of this lavender again from walmart and a mason jar and a little bit of twine and there you go you've got a nice cute really beautiful i think farmhouse dupe you know, Kirkland's wanted like 
$13, and I think we completed that overall. I think we came in at four bucks. I mean, not even that, but sort of, if you really count it out. So I thought that turned out really cute, and it's also going to go up on that display. Now, like I said, guys, don't worry, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a more close-up view of everything that we do in this. So I'm bringing in this little sign from Hobby Lobby. It says spring has sprung, and that brings in some of that buffalo check that we have on the regular or the lower part of the coffee bar. It now brings that up into this display area. And so I've always um, learned, at least, that you should do patterns in threes. So I'll be bringing in something here real soon for that. But this, guys, if you want to see a DIY on this riser put it down in the comments below that you want to see how i put together this beautiful farmhouse riser and i will do a video for you and i love how it turned out so these are the paper doilies from the dollar tree and again you get all of that for one dollar the largest size in there fits perfectly on that riser and look at the detail on that it is beautiful guys and it's paper so in a coffee bar such as mine if something gets dripped on this all i have to do is pick that up toss it and i've got more in that package that i picked up at the dollar tree all for a dollar i think this is absolutely gorgeous so guys if you want to see me do that as a diy on the channel please put it in the description box below or i'm sorry in the comments below comment down below that you want to see that okay so what i'm bringing in now are these dollar tree diys that i did also on the channel these reminded me of grape hyacinth and that just to me when i see that come up in my yard every year i know spring has actually arrived even though it's still cold it is springtime so those flowers from the dollar tree really just reminded me of those grape hyacinths and i just put those over there on the riser with um so we've got you know the the setting of three now this little bunny like i said springs over this isn't really an easter thing for me it was 2.99 at hobby lobby but it had that buffalo check on it in the purple and i thought it would be a great addition little bunnies say spring to me not necessarily easter so we're going to put that up there on the shelf to be part of that decor up there and again here's another dollar tree diy that we did guys on the channel it's also linked in the description box this is one of my mini risers and i really liked how that turned out too so i'm going to pair it with one of these dollar tree candles this is the lavender scent it smells so good but the glass on that reminds me of hobnail or mi milk glass and i absolutely think it is adorable it's a cute little candle i probably will not burn it in the space but i thought it would add a little bit more decor to the space so that's what i did now i have one of these metal or galvanized buckets that i picked up at michael's years ago but they still sell something like this and i needed something to put our jordan's skinny syrup into that is what we use in our coffee we are sugar free at our house so the jordan's skinny syrup we use the pumps that's what they come in when you buy those from jordan's or even off of amazon i'll have that link below as well but we like to use that we use uh, the pump and we pump a few of of, of the pump fulls into our coffee every day i'm using vanilla and then also caramel pecan now of course jordan's makes it super easy i am not at all sponsored by them but i really love their products these um little pumps you literally just take the cap off then you remove the protective piece and then you just sort of drop the pump in you don't have to pour anything off i just i love their stuff so i'm just going to remove the top there and i'll show you here real quick you just sort of drop this down in and nothing spills sorry guys my hands in the way but nothing spills you just sort of um, turn the top on that and voila there you go <laughs> so we use two different types and that's where I'm going to keep my Jordan skinny syrup. Now, one other thing that I usually put on my coffee bar is something to hold my packets of stevia. This is one of those beautiful, like cut glass 
jars from the Dollar Tree. I had ordered a bunch of these, but they came and they broke. So I had to return a lot of them, but I just dropped my Stevia down in there. And I think the one on the coffee bar for now is going to work out just fine, but I definitely need to buy some more Stevia for my coffee. <laughs> so that's what we're using that cut glass jar for and again that was one dollar at the dollar tree and so to sort of round things out i'm going to bring in my blessed ray dunn mugs these are one of my favorite finds ever and i just love that and i do feel like we are so so blessed in row country so i like to have those out on display but we of course always use those as well and then i also am one of these people that make bulletproof coffee so i like to have my frother and if you're interested in a good frother, I re recommend the one that I have very highly, and I'll put a link to that in the description box below. Okay, so again, the new thing for the coffee bar are the handles on the upper cabinets. People always ask to see the lowers. This is what the lower looks like. I've done a two-tone. The bottom is done in a hail navy and i'm not sure who exactly makes that but i had it color matched at lowe's and then the top is just literally a lowe's um mat i think or satin um i don't know something easy to wipe down but it's a white right off the rack i didn't have it tinted at all and so like i said i do a small little shelf here at the top and that's more for display so underneath the farmhouse light that i picked up at LTD commodities a while back, I hung that DIY wreath. And then we also have the um, gnome and the Kirkland's dupe. And those are paired with a couple finds from Hobby Lobby. This is the Kirkland's redo sign that I made with my Cricut. That was a Cricut um, DIY that I did on the channel. So if you have a Cricut, you might want to check that out coming down a little further are the diy little grape hyacinth pots that we did on the channel and again guys there's that beautiful riser that i made but i don't have a video on it so if you want to see that please put it down in the comments that you would like to see that on top of that i just layered one of those paper doilies from the Dollar Tree and then I'm keeping my blessed mug there and then right there is the Hobby Lobby placemat in the buffalo check in the purple and it's so so pretty that cut glass from the Dollar Tree that little canister there um so pretty again Dollar Tree and then in the back we have the riser that we did on the channel with one of those hobby um I'm sorry one of those hobnail little candles and again this is the frother that i use for my bulletproof coffee but there's a pretty good look at the candle back there and then i just changed my mind where i'm going to keep that frother i do that a lot and so the little galvanized container is holding my skinny syrups and this is really an overview of our coffee bar guys and i really hope you enjoyed today's tour I think what I love about it most is that it is all pretty much DIY from the Dollar Tree along with simplicity that we really need in these times right now with everything going on. So again, guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like today's content. Don't forget to comment down below, share this video with friends and family, and please stay safe out there, stay well, Thanks so much for watching today's video, my spring coffee bar tour for 2020. Go ahead and watch another video while you're here and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new. I'd love to have you as a member of the Royal Country family here on YouTube. Until next time, everybody. Bye.